All right, here to discuss the NATO gathering is Niall Gardner of the Heritage Foundation. Niall, uh, the President Trump says the transatlantic relationship is in a very, very healthy place. And then you have French President uh, Macron calling NATO brain dead because it's just focused on money. Where is NATO at this as it celebrates its 70th anniversary? Well, I can say one thing, I think, firstly, that uh, you know, NATO is far stronger today, actually, than it was three years ago. And I think that under President Trump, you have seen a significant increase in overall defense spending levels among most uh, major NATO uh, partners. Uh, and you have seen, I think, a greater commitment among nearly all NATO member states uh, to the NATO alliance. Unfortunately, Emmanuel Macron has been sending very negative signals in the last uh, a couple of weeks or so, calling the NATO alliance brain dead and, and saying that the Russians are not the enemy. Very unhelpful comments. Uh, but I think that you know, President Trump's leadership actually has been working very positively for NATO. He's put a, a great deal of pressure on the alliance to invest more uh, in the common defense of, of the, the 29 uh, NATO member states. Uh, and I do think that you've seen more effective U.S. leadership on NATO uh, over the last three years than you have for, for some decades. So I would say overall, actually, NATO is in better shape. There are more U.S. troops on the ground as well uh, in Eastern Europe. Uh, and I think that you, you do have a president who is actually very committed to the transatlantic alliance, to the NATO alliance. Unfortunately, you have a, a French president um, across the Atlantic who uh, is undermining NATO with his, with his comments and his appeasement talk towards uh, Russia. I think that Emmanuel Macron's interventions in the last uh, few days or so have been uh, deeply unhelpful. Uh, and, you know, I think Macron is, is trying his best actually to weaken NATO rather than strengthen it. All right, I want to change directions if we can now. Just talk about that terrorist attack uh, on London Bridge last Friday. Uh, we now know that the, the person, the, the terrorist who conducted that, had already been convicted and was released out of prison after what were considered very uh, short amount of years. And now we find out there are some 74 convicted terrorists who have been released from prison and who knows what they're doing and what they're up to. This has become a, a campaign issue, of course, with the election just around the corner. What's your reaction to all of this? Well, I think, first of all, is an absolute outrage that you have over 70 uh, ISIS and Al-Qaeda-linked terrorists uh, who are roaming around uh, the streets of, of British cities today. Mm. And we saw the results of this uh, over, the, uh, over the last few days with the London Bridge attack. Uh, and uh, Boris Johnson, the prime minister, has pledged to tighten the laws with regard to the early release of, of terror suspects. It's, it's an absolute disgrace that you see uh, you know, very, very dangerous individuals being released early uh, as a result, I think, of a, of a criminal justice system that is fundamentally broken in many respects. And also, of course, you have European courts intervening time and time again to protect the, right. Uh, the rights of terrorists. And that, that's an absolute outrage. Yeah, we'll have to leave it there on that message. Uh, Niall, thank you as always for joining us. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much.